On this project, we had really big farm work that we were gonna start flying. So I was looking for an opportunity to find a way to control those large sails that are gonna be up on a tower crane with, with the winds that we get around here. Earlier this spring, the wind was blowing quite a bit. And when you're picking a 25 by 25 wall panel, that's a big sail. Um, as we close the walls in, these individual uh, baffle walls have to sit down in between those. So there's really no room to move, you know. The lifting team was able to pick up these wall forms, hold it within one degree of precision in 25 mile an hour winds, and just drop the load right into place where they needed to in this subterranean structure here. Well, first time ever using anything like this, you know, 26 years of being in the field, always fighting the crane, fighting wind, getting wind days. Um, this thing being able to hook up to our taller walls and be able to control the rotation of the wall is extremely handy. It's only like two inches that we're sliding that needle through, so hands off while they're bringing it down till they get it up there and get the tag lines off, it's, uh, it's, it's safe and efficient, you know. For instance, we had a situation where there was a pump around. Instead of having to go over the pump, I can go around the pump and they can spin the load around or make sure the load's not, even if it's just making sure that the load's not gonna spin. No one's ever fought a tagline. They're like, wall has come in, perfect to them every single time, no matter what wind speed we're getting. Helping out with the pick, making everything more efficient, or if it's large chunks, like when we have a high wind day and we would not have been able to otherwise set panels. It definitely has made it safer and we picked up time on the schedule where we would have been delayed. So I, I would say it's a win-win. So historically, we do an hour per square foot measurement for our productivities. On a previous scope of work on this project that was similar, um, we take that based off of what we're doing now with the uh, Vita Load Navigator with the repetitive cycle type of form work, and we're seeing about a, a third of the, of the labor that it takes to set as you know compared to what we did previously it helps give us an edge you know if we can pick up like we've just picked up a month through these walls here in our overall cpm i think uh, the the value can really be realized projects of larger scale anytime that you're flying any piece of equipment especially that where orientation matters a lot and a highly repetitive cycle of work it makes a lot of sense it is time to revolutionize that aspect of load control, not just the Z-axis, lifting, horizontal movement, and pose. All the degrees of freedom for reliable, deterministic lifts every time. The, the mindset of our workers, uh, not having to think about those windy days, the mental stress that comes with those days, flying these large panels, they can relax a little bit. And if we can relax our labor force, we, if we can re, re, you know, make it easier for them, we win. We win on the safety side, we win on the productivity side, and we win on the, the, the stress that we put on our workers on a daily basis.